Hey, what's up guys? I hope you're been doing well. My name is Eric and I'll be doing a little tutorial on how to do your very own code replacement for photo mechanics. I've been searching on the web and I didn't find anything that could help me to make my very own code replacement. I tried using text edit and it didn't work. I contacted um, the photo mechanics builders in camera bit and they told me a little bit how to do it and I wasn't sure how to do anything and trial and error I created my own code re replacement and I just wanted to share it with you guys first of all you're going to need software for from bare, bone, bare bones sorry, called Text Wrangler it's a free download for Mac OS X I'm not sure what is the equivalent for Windows but for for Mac is Text Wrangler. I'll leave a link uh, to this website down below. You'll click right here where it says Download Text Wrangler. Click Download. It'll show up in your Finder. You click and drag to your Applications folder, and then you're going to open it right here. It's gonna load up. Cancel here for a second. And this is the program you'll be working on. You see for now it's just plain old simple text um, creator. So if you, when you start editing or start making your very old code replacement, um, you need some key, feature, uh, key concepts first. If you hit two back fr uh, forward slashes, it's like a note it won't show up in the code that you can put for example code replacement for Puerto Rico sorry Puerto Rico FC then you hit enter and if you are like me that do sports photography you'll have a roster of the players and staff and everything you can start by by this you can get two hours early to the stadium and start building your own code replacement and the thing is you're gonna wanna write a small code you're gonna hit the tab button and then you're gonna write what you want that code to replace that's where the name comes code replacement you're gonna set a code and that code in photo mechanics is going to be, be replaced with another thing if you uh, depending on the roster that you get you'll see different players different positions and for my case I do mainly soccer so normal position would be goalkeeper defenders midfielders forwards, strikers any of those and in the roster they give you before the game starts you get all of this information keep in mind that some teams don't provide this but you can look up in the internet in the teams website or in any other website you can find um, to check what are the numbers, positions, and players' names. But for this, um, we'll just use an example from a past game I did. Okay, if you are like me to li like to keep this organized, um, like I said, a forward slash will be like a comment. It won't show up in the coding. If you do it again, two of them, and you hit enter it's like a space and you can start writing there to see um, I'm going to write first the information of the technical staff and technical directors and head coach so for Puerto Rico FC I write PRFC HD head coach no sorry Puerto Rico FC head HC sorry head coach you hit the tab button or create a tab and you write the person's name but you can write it uh, in any way you want but in my case I like to write it as Puerto Rico FC's head coach Adrian Whitebreed you hit enter that's the first code that the program will have for the technical director, you put PRFC. Keep in mind, you can do whatever you want. 
Um, if it's a motorsport, you can put the number of the vehicle or the motorcycle. If it's a basketball game, you it's like if you had Chicago Bulls, for example, you put CB and the number. You put Chicago Bulls, um, f precision player, etc. If it's a I don't know New York Yankees NYY, um, New York Yankees first baseman, you put the name there or any other position. This is the way I do it for what I do, and this is the technical director. So I put TD tab Puerto Rico F. C's technical director Neil Select. I think it's pronounced that way. If you have, sorry, right here is apostrophe. If you have something like this, you'll be repeating the same thing. You can just copy it and it'll be much easier. You don't have to write every single thing that's right there. Um, right now, I'm going to skip the technical sca staff and move forward to the roster. I'm going to do again the, ta the, the enter, forward slashes, again enter, to be like a organized um, layout. And for the roster, I put PRFC1 tab. The paste is the same thing for each of, each of them. I write gold keep Puerto Rico FC's goalkeeper. Goalkeeper. Oh, sorry. Goalkeeper. Austin. I'm sorry, it's my first video. I'm a little nervous, so bear with me. You finish there, you hit enter. You for the second player, PRFC. To tab the pace again, same thing. Puerto Rico FC's center back defender Cristiano Diaz. You hit enter, and this is the, the way you're gonna do each and every one of them. It's the same thing. You put PRFC three. You hit tab. You put paste. It's the same thing. Puerto Rico FC's Center, back, defender, Camilo, Camilo, Botero, enter. And you go through all the roster like this. That's why I told you guys to go um, two hours earlier so you can sit down, relax, um, drink a little water, um, enjoy the, the pre-warm-ups or something like that. And you... With your patient, you type in everything that you see um, in the technical staff. I already did this. It's right here on my photo mechanics code replacement. It's right here. This is the one I did. You see everything is, um, let me put it in full screen. There we go. Each, you, you see right here, there's like a space, but this is a tab. Um, the tab is not evident here, but yeah, it's a tab. Um, and then you put all the information. Oh, I forgot the, the numbers. You can put them in um, parentheses, brackets, or any other way you like. Um, it's just a way of detailing what is the player's number. You put in the end here, one, put in here. Two, same here, three, like I have it right here. This, this is a code I already did, and this is the one I'm, I'll be using for um, the team in this season. When you're finished with that, you're going to hit Shift-Command-S, that save as, right here. Shift-Command-S. And you're going to store wherever you want. You're going to put the name you want, Puerto Rico, FC, underscore, C, R, code replacement. You're going to save it wherever you want. Um, I already have here the 
the one I did earlier. And you got to make sure that the Unicode is UTF-8, that, that the test, the saved document will be a .txt. It's very important that the document at the end says txt, so that will be like a text document. When you're finished, it's going to say here, here. You're going to open up Photo Mechanics. You're going to go here to Edit, Setting, Set Code Replacement. This little dialog will come up. You're going to get Add. You're going to hit Add. You're going to look for where you put your code replacement. You're going to hit it. You're going to open it. Program's going to notice it. Hit Enter. And that's it. You go to your IPTC stationary pad, and I'm going to do this as an example. Um, right here in the description, you can put backslash PRFC1. Let's see, Puerto Rico FC, Goalkeeper, Austin Parts. Uh, let's go to the technical staff. PRFC, oh, sorry, backslash PRFC, HC, Puerto Rico FC head coach, Adrian White Reed. Simple as that. Um, I hope this helps. I had a lot of problems um, and had my doubts on how to create my very own code replacement. But with this, um, this simple method, you'll be sure to create your very own code replacement. And depending on the sport you do, in my case, it's not, um, it's not that I need to do it. But you can also put, um, I've seen that some people that do motorsports put code replacements or any other word they want to replace on the code replacement. If the car that it's in a race, it's being chased or passed by, you can put a, a, a letter and let's see, for passing you put P, you hit tab, passing by or passing through or whatever. And when the code replace the code replacement is sent to um, photo mechanics, if you put backslash p backslash that word that you set to replace will automatically be pasted there. And it's a simple and convenient way to speed up your workflow. This help will help me a lot because today was the day I finally noticed this. Um, this little trick that I can do my very own uh, code replacement. I was doing it in text edit. It's a big, 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 big mistake doing it in text edit. I would highly recommend the Text Wrangler app. It's free for Mac users. I'm sorry, Windows users. I don't know what's the equivalent, but any free um, coding document, um, sorry, coding program will do the trick. Be sure to save the the documents in a .txt format. Go here to your photo mechanic and you make sure that the you put the code replacement in the set code replacement. And like like you can see, I can put backslash PR20. Sorry, PRFC20. And the name of the player comes out with his number and everything. I hope this works. I hope it helps you. If you have any questions, please leave them down below. I will try to answer them, but I know this is a very useful and easy way to create your very own code replacement. And I wanted to do a video about it because I didn't find anything when I was trying to do it, and it helped me a lot. Thank you very much, and I hope um, to m make more videos. It's my first time. And I hope to make some of them that will help other people with their problems. Thank you very much.